Good evening, everybody. How you doing? Listen, my buddy Albert and I thought it was time to do another fountain pen review. So we're going to be taking a look at a couple of Keras Custom inks here in just a minute. I hope you'll join us. Come on. I think we'll have a lot of fun. See ya. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I told you I was coming back. I want to review a couple of pens uh, that I've had for a short while. These are amazing pens. I want you to take a look. Two Keras Customs. Beautiful pens. And I want to thank G at Keras Customs for such good customer service. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about these pens later. But before we get there, I want to talk to you about a scripture that is found over in 1 Samuel chapter 30. I want to read six verses of scripture. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, neither great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives. Ahinoam the Jezreelitess, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. Isn't that an amazing thing? In the midst of all this trouble, David encouraged himself. Nobody else was going to encourage him. So David had to do it. And you might say, well, what, what is going on here? I thought David was uh, a leader. Yes, understand what's going on. David and his men, after being in the wilderness for a long, long time, had finally found a home for themselves. Uh, for each one of them, their wives, their children, their stock and everything. Well, they went out on a um, um, on a raiding party. Um, and when they came back, they found that people had come in and taken their wives and their children, their goods. And they began to weep and weep and weep and weep until... The Bible said there was no more strength to weep. They had cried so much because their families were taken away from them. I can certainly understand that. But the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. When you know nobody else is going to encourage you, when you know nobody else is going to come alongside and help you, you've got to encourage yourself in the Lord. And that's what David did. And I want you to know that sometimes you may have to do that your own self. Nobody else is going to help you. So you encourage yourself in the Lord. You, you begin to say, God, I know you were with me before and you can do it again. And so uh, I think it's a very real scripture or relevant scripture. This is a tough world we're living in. Okay, now let's get to talking about these pins. Uh, blue kind of blends in. Um, I wish this was orange. It's not. But both of these pins, as I said before, are Karis Customs ink pins. They both have Bach nibs, number six nibs, this one is a fine. It, uh, by the way, notice the brass section. Nope, 
I'm wrong. That's a copper section. Look at there. Kind of looks like a Tony Stewart Iron Man. Tony Stark. Not Tony Stewart. I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyway, now this other pen, which happens to be blue, has got an extra fine nib on it. It is also a number six nib. Fantastic nib. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here uh, for a minute. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the pens before we go and start a writing sample. I love the heft of these pens. I like the build quality. These are nice pens. Good sturdy clip. Um, they're not overly heavy. I like a meaty pen. I like a pen that has some heft and certainly these do, but they're, they're not like um, my brass ink pen and one day I'm going to do a review of that one but it's a great it's a great pen if, if you like a pen that that feels a little hefty in your hand this is it my friend Michael Whitesides and I have decided that what we like are railroad spikes with nibs attached to the front end that's what we like anyway give me a moment uh to set up for a writing sample, and I'll be right back. Thanks. Okay, I'm back, as I told you I would be. Again, this is a Karis Customs Ink fountain pen fitted with, uh, look at that nib. I, I really like that nib. I don't know what the deal is with my camera, my phone, why it won't focus right well it looks like that's as good as I'm going to get it sorry uh, I I have a titanium nib and this one looks just like it except it's um, stainless steel instead of titanium but this is a fine nib I've got this pen filled with Sailor Gentle Irori. I like the, the color, and I think it matches the pen very well. If you're into that sort of thing, you may not be. So let's take a look. David. David encouraged himself in the Lord. He certainly knew nobody else was going to do it. It's got kind of a, a bounce to it. Not much, but there is the possibility of a little bit of line variation with this pen. I, I like the looks of this pen with the uh, copper and red. Now, if only I had a copper cap or copper barrel. Hmm. Okay. That one's out of the way. Now, let's take a look at this one. The same pen, just different color. Again, a fantastic clip. Uh, it, this is what I like or one of the things I like about the pen. I mean, it is designed and machined so well. Got the screws in there. Um, that's a serious clip. That's a very nice clip. Anyway, let's take a look. Open it up. And again, it's got that beautiful nib. I don't suppose it's, there we go. 
There we go. Finally. Well, let's let's take a look. Now, this is an extra fine nib, and I find this is one of the smoothest nibs I've ever written with. It is wonderful. He did. David encouraged himself in the Lord. So there you have it. Oh, by the way, this pen is filled with black stone blue gum ink. Now, I won this bottle of ink um, from the gentleman reviewer uh, a while back. Um uh, the more I use Blackstone ink, the more I like it. Wonderful ink. And it comes from down under. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this little short review of two wonderful pens. Uh, I don't want to leave this out. You know where this came from, don't you? Rickshaw Bad Works. Um, Night Heron is who made this pen sleeve. But anyway, hope to see you next time. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. What do you think of Keras pens? Do you have any Keras pens? If you do, leave a little comment. See what you think uh, about these pens. Uh, hit the bell notification. We'd really appreciate you doing that. Until next time, see ya.